when we rebuild text indexes, it looks like we lose all the custom attributes we set. How do we preserve them? And this is one of those weird questions. I was bamboozled when I saw this, but uh, there's nothing to worry about. The question is, where do the preferences go? And, and let's do a quick demo to show that. Create a table called T, it's a copy of DBA objects. I'm gonna create a text index, and anyone that's used a text index knows you normally set various preferences that define how the text index will work. I'm gonna go with the simplest one I can think of, and that is I'm gonna create a simple storage preference, which says the I table and I index are gonna go into a separate table space. If you've used preferences, there's all sorts of things in terms of dictionaries and lexes and whether it's got XML and JSON, all sorts of preferences that let you customize an index. This is a very, very simple customization. And this is what a text index looks like when I create it. I create an index, it's a context type index, and this is the key part. I add these parameters. I'm going to use the simple storage preference I defined, and I'm going to sync on commit. So this is important information for how the index will work. Where is it going to be stored? And how often will I sync the index? If I go look at the parameters column in DBA indexes for my brand new index, as you'd imagine, there's a set. Yep, I'm using the simple storage preference and I'm syncing on commit. If I get the DDL using DBMS metadata, out comes the DDL exactly as pretty much I typed it. There's my index, there's the parameters, etc. Let's say now I set that index to unusable and I do some big you know, scale load of the data and then I rebuild the index. Common technique, unusable, load lots of data, rebuild the index. So in this case, I just rebuild it, it's done. Here's where things get interesting. Look at my parameters, they're gone. How about DDL? It's gone as well. You should not use dbmsmetadata.getDDL for a text index because what comes out is different to your original source code. If this isn't a validation of you should have source code control, I don't know what is. The way preferences, and in fact, all the customizations work with a text index, is you define them in advance, but when you create an index, it grabs a snapshot of them. If I went back to my simple storage preference and said, oh, I want to move it to a different table space, I want to add other tables to new table spaces, that has no bearing on this index. When I created this index, it effectively took a snapshot of all the bits and pieces, the various preferences I've set, and embedded them into the index. And they are now part of the index definition. There is no longer a link to effectively the preference as such. It was used effectively as a template to copy that information into the index definition. The preference now stands alone. And that's why we lose it here. So first of all, just to prove that I didn't lose the preference, if I look at all the various underlying tables that exist for my um, index, it's still using large TS for the I tables and the I indexes. So it's still using the preferences I set, they're just not appearing in the DDL anymore. If I wanna get the DDL, rather than use DBMS meta DDL, you're better off using CTX report, create index script and passing in your script. It returns a clob. And what it does is it returns the snapshotted elements that needed to be used to create that index. So you get all of it. We scroll back quickly. What was it 10 o'clock? It says, I'm going to create an index called direct data store, null filter, null section group. These are all the things that were defaults it used, but they were snapshots. And so you would actually create your own should you want them. And then we have word list, a stop list, etc. all the bits and pieces that scroll down. It created a storage one. There's my previous stuff as before. And this is effectively what was run when we first built it. These are all the defaults that picked up various preferences and then it did sync on commit. That's just a word of warning, right? Your preferences, all the information about that index is captured once when you create the index and is embedded inside the index. It's not gonna be printed back out to you in DBA indexes in the parameters column, and it's not gonna come out with dbmsmeta.getDDL. Use CTX report if you wanna get it back, but ultimately this means just make sure you've got good source code control on your DDL scripts.